Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking eye animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create the eye in Adobe Illustrator. So let's open up Illustrator. I'm just going with a new 1920 by 1080 pixel document. It's gonna go to create. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to come over here and grab the arc tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click anywhere and I'm going to draw an arc on my screen. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rotate that arc. So I'm gonna come over here and click the rotate tool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that path and I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees until I have something like that. Now, once I've got that, then what I need to do is I need to press Command or Control C to copy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to edit paste in front and now if you've done that correctly you should have two versions of that arc but you just can't see them because they're underneath each other so to change that what we need to do is we need to go to object transform reflect and we're going to reflect across the horizontal axis i'm just going to press ok and then i'm just going to click on that hold shift and move it down until those points meet somewhere like that and so now what we can do is we can highlight all of it and I'm just gonna bump that up to let's say 14 cool so now the only thing that we need to fix is these two points on the side so to do that what we need to do is we need to go to the direct selection tool and I'm just going to highlight this side over here and then I'm just going to go to object path join and I'm gonna do the same for the other side, object, path, and then join. And so now we've got a nice looking eye. So the next thing that we need to do is I'm just going to highlight that shape, go into my stroke settings and make sure that I have round uh, cap and round join on. Now, the only other thing that we need to do is we need to actually create the iris. So I'm gonna do this in a new layer and all I'm gonna do is grab an ellipse tool and so I'm just going to draw a circle. This time I don't need a stroke, but I'm just going to make it a black circle just like that. And then the final thing is we are going to take a chunk out over here. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm just gonna hold Option or Alt on a computer and I'm just going to draw another circle out. I'm gonna hold Shift so I can put it in that area over there. And I'm just going to change the color to white. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller than that. And I'm just going to put it over there. And then what we need to do is we need to hold shift to highlight both these shapes. Come over to your Pathfinder tool and then click minus front. So now that's one shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that touch smaller. And then I'm going to align them. So I need to highlight both those shapes and then click on the align tools, vertical and horizontal align. And that's pretty much the eye done. If you wanna change some of the stroke settings, you can. So maybe we'll bump that up to let's say 25. So once you're done and you're happy with your settings for your eye, you can save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and then take it into After Effects. Cool, so now we're in After Effects. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and import our file. So we'll just right click and then we'll go File Import. So now when you import it, it will ask you, do you wanna import it as composition or footage? We'll stick with composition. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna double click so that we can see both our layers over here. You need to make sure that your layers are separated. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on that, go to create, create shapes from vector layer. And then I'm going to also rename them again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight both those, copy them and then create another new composition. So I'll leave this 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames, uh, a duration of about five seconds. And then I'm just gonna paste both my uh, shapes in there. So now I have an eye and an iris. Now I've left the fill from Adobe Illustrator. If you don't want the fill, you can get rid of it. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag that to the bottom and I'm going to search for an effect called Radiant Ramp. 
and I'm going to put two colors that I'm going to grab from Color Hunt. So here we are in Color Hunt and this is going to be my color palette. So I'm just going to import these colors into After Effects. So now if you want to change any of the colors or any of the strokes and things like that, you can. So I'm just going to make sure that my eye is black and also the iris uh, is going to be black and not gray. And I will probably just scale down the iris a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is with both those shapes selected, I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. And then if you want to increase the scale of both of those, and then just make sure that you align it back to the middle. Cool. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up the iris. So we are going to search for an effect called set map. And what this effect is going to do is I'm just going to change it to my eye and I'm going to change the source from source to masks. And now if I try to move that, you can see that it doesn't actually go outside that area. I'm also going to pick whip the iris to the eye. So every time I move the eye, everything will move with it. And that's pretty good. Then what we need to do is we need to duplicate the eye and I'm just going to rename this the eyelid and we need to start to do this animation. Now, we obviously can't see anything in here because we have the fill. So I'm just gonna set the fill to none for now. And then we'll, once we do the animation, we'll turn it back on. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is I'm just going to open up the contents, the group one and go to path. And then I'm going to set a keyframe animation for the path. And then I'm going to jump forward in time, let's say 10 frames. And I'm also going to add another keyframe over there. So now I'm going to go back to my first keyframe and I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm just going to click over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift. I'm going to drag that up to the top and then I'm going to move this to the side. So it looks something like that and I'm gonna move this to the side also. It doesn't have to be that perfect, but. So there's my first animation already, and that's looking pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this keyframe and then go to, let's say 20 frames, and I'm gonna paste it back in place. So now I can change the fill I can now go and get a color from Colorhan. So I'm gonna use, let's say this color and I'm going to turn that back on. So now we can see that we have the eye and it's blinking. So now what we'll do is we'll highlight all those keyframes. We'll go to keyframe assistant, we'll go to easy ease and then we'll go back to the graph editor. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight all of them, but we are just going to move them slightly to one side. So I'm just gonna move it like this. So now we're not going to start that at right away as soon as the animation starts. We're going to bring that in probably about 10 frames into the animation. And then so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that and I'm going to go from here which is going to be 10 frames. So we'll go to frame let's say 41 and then we'll just paste it there. So now we have two sets of blinking motion for the eye. Now, if you want to extend this, you know, you can hold option, you can move it around if you want it to go faster, slower, etc. So now we're going to move to the iris. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press P on my keyboard for position. I'm going to set the stopwatch there at the first frame, which is frame 11. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of that section there and I'm going to add in another keyframe and then I'm going to go to the middle in here which is 10 frames apart and now this is where we want some movement so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the iris and I'm just going to move it just slightly on a left diagonal and so now if you've done that correctly now you have a little bit of movement and so what we're going to do is we are going to Command C to copy that. And I'm just gonna go to that keyframe over there and I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side. But when I get to this middle frame, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to change the position. So I'm gonna move it over, let's say probably about there. And so now we have the eye 
blinking on one side, blinking on the other side. Now it looks pretty cool, but what we can do is we can now right click, go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the graph editor and we are going to change this a little bit again. So this time we're gonna highlight all of them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to the left but I'm also going to bring it to the right to create this nice little peak. And so now if we preview that, you can see that we've added a little bit of acceleration. So now what we need to do is, firstly, I'm just gonna get the pick whip tool and drag the from the lid to the eye. And so now they're all connected to the eye and now we're gonna make the eye move. So I'm just gonna press P for position on my keyboard and then I'm going to go to that first keyframe over here, set the stopwatch and go to that last keyframe over here on that section, set the stopwatch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the same process that I did with the iris. So I'm going to grab my mouse tool and I'm just going to drag it down just ever so slightly and so now if you preview that you can see that the eye kind of bends to one side and then what we're going to do is we are just going to so now what we're going to do is i'm just going to easy ease those keyframes and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the graph editor and i'm going to highlight all of that and then i'm just going to move it a little bit to the left hand side and so now it's got a little bit of acceleration with that and so all I'm going to do is just copy and paste that over here. So I'm going to go to that keyframe over there and then paste it in like that. Now that's going the same way. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we go to this uh, keyframe and we are just going to change the position ever so slightly. So you can see that that is the animation now. So now we have both going one way, the other way and that's pretty much it so to finish off the animation all we need to do is just drag back the time if you want to extend the time let's say if you want to highlight all of these keyframes you can hold option or alt and then drag them out to about three seconds and now you've got a bit of a slower animation and then if you want to duplicate all of those you can uh, pre-compose that and so if i call that left and then if I duplicate the other side and if I call that right now you can see that you have two eyes going at the same time and that's pretty cool so there's many things that you can do with this uh, tutorial and there we have an example so you can also bring down the scale for all, all of them so yeah, so cool. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create this blinking eye animation. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.